So I went foundation free today. I just have some moisturizer, oil, skincare, stuff like that on. It's been a long day, so I'm a little whew, tired. But we have the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation. So definitely gotta try this. I mean, come on, let's wake up and use this baby. It came in such a pretty box, really, really nice. The bottle itself is frosted, gorgeous. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite packaging for foundation I've ever seen. It's really pretty weighted, luxurious feeling. There's a pump with a cap. I'm going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to try this without primer. And this shade is... Oh, four neutral. Okay, I thought I ordered three neutral. That is the color on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use one of my favorite dense brushes. This is the Up and Up Complexion Brush. I really love this for foundation in general. So we're gonna try this and we're gonna buff it into the skin. I'm having a decent skin day, but I definitely have some spots here that are related to lupus. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some on my brush and hopefully this color matches because the online color matching system said I was three neutral. Wow, look at that coverage. Ooh, it's like super skin-like. So I did hear that this dries down. I always hear people say oxidization. It oxidizes up. <sighs> it's a pet peeve. Oxidization happens after it mixes with your skin. It's different from dry down. It's a chemical reaction, whereas dry down is like paint. It just changes colors once it sets. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. My first, first impression is this is insanely gorgeous. It's not settling into my pores. It's like my skin, but with coverage. I haven't loved a foundation. Usually what happens, and the reason I don't usually post first impressions is that I usually have a lot of criticism for products at first until I get to know it and then I figure out how it works for me with my very dry skin. But this is probably the best foundation first impression in application I've ever had. I feel like I have perfect skin. Look. Okay, let me finish this half of my face and then I'm gonna get my sponge and do the other half with the sponge. Holy crap. I never swear on this channel, but I do swear <laughs> in real life. Not around people I'm not comfortable with. Like, I'll swear with my husband, and I don't know. It's not like a habit or anything, but I just now was about to say something because of how beautiful this looks but I'll say holy crap instead. Okay, so that one pump, I think it was about one pump. You know how when you first start a foundation, it takes a couple pumps to like get the product up through the straw or whatever system they've got, whether it's like a airless pump or whatever, it takes a little bit. Well, I think I got out about one pump's worth. We'll see on the second round. And I think it covers half my face with pretty freaking good coverage. In my opinion. But you guys know I tend to like lower coverage things, but man, I feel like I could I could I could I could do full coverage when it looks like this, when it looks like literally no product on my skin. It just looks like my skin is perfect. I could do full coverage. Look, there's no lupus rash. Like what the heck? I don't need concealer. You guys, if you have lupus or if you have spots, 
my lupus rash is really hard to cover. Even with full coverage foundations, I've never found one that will fully cover it while also looking like my skin because my lupus rash has a different texture to the rest of my skin. It just product doesn't want to sit on it. It doesn't want to stay there. Now, right here I see the faintest hint. Let's see if I can just take a little bit more and cover it with a padding motion instead of a buffing motion. Dang! It's gone. And it looks like there's nothing. And I've got like natural luminosity. Like it looks matte, but... Well, not matte. It looks like a... Like a satin. So that's half my face done. Okay, and the color is good. I'm glad I have this shade. It's going to be too dark once I lighten up. But... Okay, under the bathroom lighting, this definitely is too dark for me. I don't know if you can see. It definitely looks too dark. So I wish the 3N was what I had, like I planned, but that's okay. I just realized that I'm not going to do a full super long wear test because it's so late in the day right now. But I'll wear this tomorrow when I go take care of my nephew. And I always have really long days on those days, like 14 hour days. So I will test it. I won't be able to film because I will be taking care of my nephew elsewhere, but I will update you guys in my next video with how this wears on me. Honestly, though, unless it has awful wear, it'll last all day on me because, like I said, I just don't usually have issues. By the way, I'm using my Isom sponge like always. I'm getting lighter coverage than I do with the brush, as expected. But it's gorgeous. Stunning coverage. I am surprised how much I'm using because I'm about to get another pump. Because I'm at two pumps. I'm, I'm taking just a, less than a half a pump. And I'm going to use that to finish up. I don't have a preference between the two sides. I would say that it depends on what kind of finish you like. If you like a little bit more coverage, do a brush. If you like a little less, do a sponge. Or, you know, if you like those Juno and Co. sponges, you'll get full coverage. Depends on your personal preference and what's easier. Is a sponge generally easier for you and quicker in the morning? Or is a brush generally easier? In which case, you know, there's different brushes you can use to get different amounts of coverage. The Up and Up happens to be one that gives you a lot of coverage because it is very dense. So if you use a less dense brush, you'll get less coverage generally. But look at how my skin is glowing, looks perfect, a tad too dark. So let me just take a little bit down my neck, which I hate doing, by the way. Absolutely hate it. I feel like it's just not for me. I'd rather stop much sooner then go down my neck but I'm doing it so I don't look as mask like but yes I am very pleased and I think you would be too if you bought this foundation I'm gonna go ahead and go over the brush side with my sponge just to I guess even out how it looks between the two sides oh but it's already like dried down maybe I shouldn't do that because it's messing with how pretty it looks Okay, so never mind. Not going to do that. And now the question is whether or not I really want to set it. Because I just am obsessed with how it looks. It is a little tacky. So I think I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it with the Charlotte Tilbury powder I love so dearly. Which is this guy. 
I tossed the one that had nothing left in it. So now I'm working on my other one. And I'm going to take this Royal Langnickel Omnia BOM265 brush that I've been using to set with powder. I'm not going to do concealer because I don't feel like I need it. This foundation was fabulous. It feels lightweight. I don't really feel it on my skin. I do feel flawless, but not feeling fake. Except it's dark. I just don't like going darker than my skin tone. I That's just not for me. It's not a me look. If anything, I prefer going a little lighter than using bronzer. I could have sworn I ordered three neutral. Hey guys, so I had dinner and hung out with Ryan and <sighs> edited the first part of this video and it has been over four hours. So I'm gonna get ready for bed because I have an early start tomorrow. I'm sorry it's not like a full day's wear but I will update you guys. I'll try it again tomorrow with a very long day because I have a long day tomorrow and probably wear it for 15 hours or so and I'll let you guys know how that goes. But it looks exactly the same. Like, from what I remember, I like don't see any difference. Maybe a little settling right around the nose, but really it's not even anything. I see my little crease here but it's really tiny so yeah my pores look good everything just looks beautiful yeah so I did realize that I have my shade coming tomorrow so yes I'm very excited to have this one though so I'm gonna call it a night I love it. I have never loved a foundation this much with the amount of time that I've worn it. Like, to me, it looks even prettier than my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which is my holy grail. So, um, we continue to test this because I'm very, very excited. Sorry if I seem down, I have this raging migraine and all these lights are killing me. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. So, oh, if you're new, definitely don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification to see more videos like this one. Check out my color theory part two video if you haven't already. And uh, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Use the tag cakefacefam. And uh, yes, yes, yes. Love you lots, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.